Okay. Nothing to report, sir. Good to know. Y'all keep saying that. Oh, there's a little town over there. Ah. How do I get down from here? It actually wasn't that far, and I was just walking in a random ass direction. Oh, there's another rift over. Oh my! Hey, I'm good though. Period. Watch your step. Yeah, no shit. Uh, Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Um. Inquisition forces. They're trying to protect the refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold. We are not apostates. I do not think they care, Seeker. some fuck shit happening at Red Cliff, bro. This place was in the first game and it got overran by a bunch of, uh, well, do they call them Dark Spawn? They still call them Dark Spawn, who am I kidding? It's the fact that all this is happening and there's still Dark Spawn in the world too, like, y'all are really causing all these issues when there's a bigger fight to be had, like, be ready. More coming our way. Oh, I can't claim it. It's him running in the water for me! I don't know why some of is up that close, but... doing over there? He is not hammering that right. Look at her covered in blood! <laughs> He's always covered in something. Yo, that symbol is low-key goaded, I'm not even gonna lie. There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. What you said to that soldier, we do not teach that magic is evil. We teach that pride is evil and does not corrupt only mages. Ooh. But I did not ask you to come simply to debate with me. Then why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding 
hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. It was a tragedy. That's no excuse. And that's an excuse? They're making things worse. They don't know that. This is my point. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. That won't just make it worse. Because you are a mage. That too. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. The power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Hmm. I like that lady. I see. Corporal Go. Bale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. Okay. Or... <coughs> or... I can continue to do every single thing around here and not go to Corporal because screw that guy. I'm just kidding, I'll go. Where's the war room at? Oh look, it has a legend. That's nice. What's the X? They're not telling me what the X is. I hate it here. Fade Rift? What the fuck is an Astarium? What is that? Yeah, I wanna go here. How do I get there? No, no, for real, how do I get there? Oh. No, for real, how do I get there? Help! Uh. Oh, I'm confused. What is this? And she did- she didn't go. Either that or somebody like, kept her back. I think she was too busy with the refugees to actually... But she didn't- she didn't go to the meeting, otherwise she would have been dead. What's that quest over there? That's not even what I want. How do I- How do I go to- how do I... How do I go to the... Ah! Buy, sell? Um... Mor um, um... I was about to call her Morgan, oh my god. Cassandra, can you tell me how to get the quest? I was gonna do a quest, and I can't. It's just... There's too much. There's too much. Oh, oh, it's right there. Let's go! I'll do this part, and then I'll get off, I think. Yeah, me tired. Oh, this is not who I... Corporal Vale, thanks for your help. The Majors and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will.
Is there anything we can do to help people deal with the cold? I asked the Inquisition to send blankets. You'd think I was asking for a wagon of raw lyrium. A recruit named Whittle is trying to make what we can bring in last. If you have any ideas, talk to him across the road. Okay. You were concerned about refugees starving? Yes. Many of them brought food, but they expected to be home by now, or safe in a city. There's a hunter up the hill who had some ideas. What can you tell me about the rebel mages? The real rebels are up north in Redcliffe, dug in and taking care of their own. Hmm. The ones out here are just apostates, locked up in the circles all these years, and now they've gone mad with power. The rebels in Redcliffe have washed their hands of them. I wish we could do the same. Oh, okay, okay. So the rebels are actually like the mages that really want to be by themselves. And they're considered rebels because the Templars place that label on them. But they're like the sort of people that just want to live their life normally. Whereas the apostates the are the dangerous ones. The Templars were called the Val Royo not long ago. The Val Royo. The order. Now they're killing rebel mages, along with any refugees they think are mage sympathizers. Every Templar I've ever known has wanted to protect the common folk. These men defile their order's good name. Okay. What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond stitches and elf fruit. I know healers are in short supply. But if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. The best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. Alright. Farewell. And you as well. I've got so much. Stabilize areas by sealing fade rifts. Expand the reach of the Inquisition by setting up new camps. And complete quests to gain power and influence. Send power on scouting operations at the war table to unlock new opportunities. Gaining enough influence increases the rank of your Inquisition and grants you access to unique perks. Okay, what the hell are they doing? Hello? Oh, he just got bashed in the face with that. So, what now? I got my- I got the power required because I already it's sealed some it. ribs. It says travel to Val Royo. That shop. Can I fast travel to the hinterlands instead? I mean, to the... Yes! To the haven. Yes, 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 yes. I need to see my girl in real time. And Esmeralda. Is that her name? That is not her name! <laughs> or her name? Josephine? I don't... I don't remember her name, but the mother in that one room. Oh my day, she's gorgeous. She's literally gorgeous. It is Josephine. <gasps> I can romance her. Oh. My. Where is she at? Is she, is she here? Is she here? Josephine! We've got scattered reports of winter sightings in the hinterlands. Mages. Where's the wardens at? How do the wardens feel about this? And can I recruit a warden? <laughs> What's going on here? Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Can somebody behead this Back guy? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. 
Anyway, where's Josephine? Cullen, I don't care about you. Where's Josephine? Is she in here? Josephine! Oh, there's Mother. She's here. That's the dungeon, I think. Research in the nave wishes to verify that the infections have decreased in number. Who's in here? Oh? Oh, I was not expecting this. The Inquisition <gasps> cannot remain, Ambassador. If you can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. This mother. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked her life well, she got a to hunch. slow the magic of the bridge. Terrara, stand Lama, up. This is the Marquis Durelion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. How does Durelion lend Justinia this land for pilgrimage? This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Um... We all have bigger problems. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durelion's rightful property. Has Empress Helene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? Oh? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferenin's monarchs on this matter. Oh? The Empress... Has not yet had the opportunity to do so. Exactly. So get the fuck out of my face, bro. <laughs> Josephine. We face a dark time, Your Grace. Josephine. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. This mother. She Look at those puffy. Okay, let me stop. To forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Sorry about that. You handled him. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. Um... The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become... agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work. <laughs> no! <laughs> wait. But wait. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Tell me, virus. What brought you here? Why did you join the Inquisition? I'd been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. She's from Antiva. The Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. She's got the it's accent, It's everyone's so... benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. Um... What exactly does your job entail? I meet with ambassadors from various factions and countries, and cement alliances with them. We are a young cause. Diplomacy is essential to our credibility. Hmm. Then you speak for the Inquisition with these nobles. I do. Someone must foster goodwill on our behalf. This as charismatic as mother. As news of us spreads. Um, are we? How heavily are our actions scrutinized? Make no mistake. Every noble house, every throne, is waiting to see what the Inquisition does next. Many are willing to pledge support, if offers are made in just the right fashion. I intend to see that. I love how she's writing without looking at the paper. This mother. How'd you meet her? How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norlay. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Liliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What? Oh my god, I just fucking lost. I hate it here. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but Orlesians are fond of playful touches. Okay. Um... 
Tell me how you came to work for the Inquisition again. I've been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge. Oh. When Leliana recruited me. There's such an... My it's bad mother. To everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. So was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt. And that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to full-scale war. Perhaps. Bringing the Mage Templar conflict to a head could be the only way to resolve it. Surely we can find a solution that doesn't leave all of Thedas in ruins. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> do you believe? Tell me. Do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. Oh? The miracles Andraste performed for so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the fate who saved you. Well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. Okay. What did you do before coming here? I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlay. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Hmm. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice. The Inquisition offered these ones to those in need. Hmm. What business are the Montilliers in exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore. Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. Let's speak later. Another time. Oh, this mother. I love her a little bit too much. That will help. Okay. Bye, Josephine. <laughs> Alright, who's in here? No one's in here. Ugh, let's go talk to Cullen, even though I don't really care about him. Oh, can I talk to Mother? Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? I don't know. Well, you know how these things go. At least, I hope someone does. You love to bring a little light into the darkness. Yeah. And I'm glad to see it. Too many see laughter as antithetical to the chant of light. They imagine Andraste as a grim warrior all her life, forgetting that she loved and was loved in return. I hope she found time for laughter during her trials, as I hope you do. Thank you. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Mm. Growing up Dalish, I heard little about your Chantry. Can you tell me about it? Of course. Too many think that the Chant of Light should only be sung by humans. The truth is that knowledge of the Maker and Andraste should be open to all who wish to learn of him. We believe the Maker created us, and that mankind's sinful nature caused him to turn away. With Andraste's blessing, the Maker will forgive mankind once the Chant of Light is sung from all corners of this world. Hmm. Why does the Chantry allow only human women to become priestesses? The official doctrine is that elves and dwarves have turned further from the Maker than humanity. And as for men, the chant holds that they are more vulnerable to anger or passion. Oh, but that sure is truth, right. It is simply political. Added after Andreste's death, like too many of our beliefs. Hmm. 
What is your stance on magic? Andraste put it simply. Magic must serve man, not rule over him. However, those words must be put into the proper historical context. Andraste led a rebellion against the Javinta Imperium, whose magisters controlled most of the world at the time. Even then, she never called for all mages to be put to death. She believed in peaceful coexistence. There were calls for an exalted march to put down the mage rebellion. What was your opinion? It was ignorant gossip. An exalted march only succeeds when it carries the will of the people. Even then, it cannot be undertaken lightly. People are too easily frightened. We cannot destroy everything they fear. An exalted march is justified only against a true threat to this whole world. It is an offense to the Merkel to use it as a political bludgeon or as a means of spreading the chant of light. A pity voices like yours were not louder when an exalted march crushed my people. That is a hotly debated matter in some circles of the Chantry. Your people had conquered Mont Semel and threatened Valreo itself. They were not helpless victims. But even then, Rolle was the only nation to provide troops. It was hardly an exalted march of all the faithful. The Maker wishes his world to spread by example, not by war. We win no converts with blood. Farewell. Farewell. I like her a lot. Her conversations are very interesting. Ooh! Move! Move! With passioned breath does the darkness creep. It is the whisper in the night. The lie upon your sleep. What? Ugh! This loser. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're <laughs> blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. Oh? The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. <laughs> we're not so terrible. If the proper authority hadn't completely failed, the Conclave wouldn't have been needed. So you suggest I blame the Chantry and exalt a murderer? What of justice? That won't help restore order in the here and now. <laughs> order will never be restored so long as this rebellion is allowed to fester. Good luck. Don't let anyone riot while we're gone. The walls will be standing when you return. Oh, I still need to talk I will to this man. The peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Okay. Oh, Creator, be me near, for I walk only where you would bid me. Stand only in place. Oh, it says travel to Val Royale. I'm actually not gonna travel to Val Royale. I'm probably gonna stop here, but. I just want to just <laughs> this mother mission operations take time bring the Inquisition resources and rewards only one mission per advisor can be active some missions have a preferred type which results in less time required when undertaken by the associated advisor okay it <gasps> it 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 it, 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 it. Where's my mother at? Look at this mother. Oh my days. Oh, shipment of raw and valuable raw materials. Merchants will offer the Inquisition a 10% discount. Merchants will pay the Inquisition 10% more for items. Grants 50% X. SP XP for each codex entry. I might have to cop the discount. I might have to cop that. Hold up. I have eight power too. Opens up new dialogue options related to the Fade or Arcane studies. Grants a 10% chance to receive extra herbs from each harvest. Grants a significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action. Okay.
Opens up new dialogue options. Grants a 5% increase in XP. What's this? Opens up new dialogue options. And Antivan Tailors are famed for their ability to hide pockets seamlessly. Ooh, increases. Adds one more slot potion for all party members. Well, I don't need that. Alright, we're gonna cop this. Can I only do one? It says adjust the Chantry. I'm not gonna do that. That'll be for next time. Master Harry said that without more rule, we won't be able to get blades for the recruits. Tell Master Harry. If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh? Oh, you're her. Thren. Inquisition quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Uh, what do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. Oh? How does She's someone not wrong. as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Loge Magtia, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. Nah, don't say that. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. Don't glaze low game, bro. Yeah, he's a traitor. No wonder you're unpopular. Logan McTeer betrayed the Grey Wardens and his king. Were you there at Ostagar? I was. King well, Kaya no the fuck you weren't, bitch. And the Grey Wardens were too late lighting the signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Logan made the right decision. Okay, but then he said I that the Grey Wardens turned Sister on them. Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. That's so crazy, because she was literally working with us. Okay, anyway. What did you mean when you mentioned That's how you know this shit didn't happen. I'm making this I like I kind of like that. We have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials. So I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harrick can get our troops better weapons. Farewell. I can figure out how Make to fill the borders. The table is literally right next to me, so Where the fuck are they getting- what? How do I get onyx? I don't know- <laughs> I don't know where to get that. Wait, what? What the- What? Do I not have iron? I guess I don't. Do I not? Anything we need, let me know. What? Why is the inventory just armor and weapons? What about like all the other stuff that I? Oh, here we go. I'm stupid. <laughs> Why don't they have it like- why, why does it look like this? This little scroller bar is... Okay, this is good. I can actually look at all this stuff. Um... Armor schematics? Okay... Do they have gifts in this game? I don't think they do. See, I have 39 iron. So... I guess I need the onyx and I need the logging stand. I don't really know. I have tons of iron, ma'am. But I can't give it to you, I guess. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so in the original- they were basically- she was talking about people in the original game. In the original game, um, it was a war fought between 
the Darkspawn and the King of... Was he the King of Ferelden at the time or the King of Denerim? I think it was the King of Denerim at the time. And Loghain was basically another... Was he another king? No, no, no. Loghain was the King of Denerim. Was he? Fuck. I don't know. I don't remember. There were two kings, basically. One of them was Loghain, and then the other one was Callahan or whatever the fuck his name- No, 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 no. Uh, I forgot his name. It, but Loghain was one of the kings fighting in the war. And we were the Grey Warden protagonists uh, sent to light uh, the signal on top of a tower. Basically, when we lit the signal, Loghain would push his army in. Um, and I forget the reason why they needed a signal, but whatever. But Loghain, straight up, he was trying to tell the other king, he was like, dude, like, we can't do this with the forces that we have, like, we need to go. But the other guy was very, like, confident in their ability to actually defeat the Darkspawn. Darkspawn are like demons that are underground. And separate from, separate from the Fade demons, these are like... These are different demons, I guess. <laughs> and so... Yeah, so, you know, I need to know his name. Hold on. <laughs> I need to know his name! His name was... Okay, King Kalen, that's why. Okay. Yeah, so King Kalen. He was very overconfident, very like... We're so strong, we're, we're beating them up, you know, we're not having a problem, blah blah blah. But what he didn't realize was that there was something bigger going on, and it wasn't just the small battles. Like, they were winning all the, all the fights, all the fights they were put in, and that's why he was so overconfident on their ability to win the war, because he didn't think that the Darkspawn was as powerful as they were. But that was very ignorant of him, so I kind of get what she means. And then the whole game was literally just like politics, but also fighting the Darkspawn because that's what Grey Wardens do. Ugh. And a Grey Warden is basically someone who is connected to the Darkspawn, I guess, and are able to sense these things that happen called blights. It's when Darkspawn from the underground find like an old god and they come up from the surface and, um, you know, kill everybody. What was my point? <laughs> what was the point I was making? I don't remember. Um, yeah, why he's a traitor. So, yeah, he straight up, when we gave the signal, obviously King Kalen's men and the Grey Wardens were at battle, were on the battlefield. They were getting their ass, they were getting their ass handed to them. But Loghain was like, fuck that, retreat, and his soldiers were literally like, uh, are you sure? Like, we're just leaving them to die. And he's like, nope, we're leaving. And so, obviously, he has loyalists. He probably literally told the exact same thing he told to that bitch and, and said, this is strategic. I saved your lives. Like, King Kalen is insane. Blah, blah, blah. But that's because he was afraid of... Honestly, I think it was just because he was afraid of the Darkspawn defeating him. And he didn't want to die. I genuinely think, like, he was too fearful. He's a traitor because... He's a pussy ass bitch, basically. Um, anyway, but I like how the games are like, very they're chronological and the characters that you play are in the world, like together. So like, even though there's been three games, it's not like, the, it's, not like it's been 10, 10 or so years. Like, mm, maybe it has been actually. I actually don't know the timeline. But, but clearly my warden is still alive, because she was at the battle, so my warden is alive, which I think is cool. She's probably all old and gray, and uh, her back probably hurts, um, yeah, I think that's really cool. It makes me wonder, like, how far ahead the new game will be. Ew! So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? Oh. I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. 
Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. Yeah, her like... I had like makeup on her and it's all gone and I'm really sad because she used to look really, really nice. Like, I mean, she still looks nice. I can... I'm, I can barely keep up. Um, I'm fine. This is all BS. It's gotta be a lot. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. It's pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad? You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Well, good thing I'm a miracle then, right? You would need a miracle to look like this. Bro, she's fine as hell. <laughs> this girl is fine as hell! There's a part in the game where you can like go back and customize your character and I fear I'm gonna need that. I have to search through every single mod I took off. Oh. Is that Liliana? Welcome back. That is not Liliana. Grey Wardens, you think? Grey Wardens? We're not paying you to be sarcastic. Hello. Oh, Maker, you're here. You're the Herald of Andraste. And you were sent to shame us. A mistress in the elves. What? I pay my elves good and proper, you should know. Friend of the age, did you all? And, I mean, I'm Flicker. Can I get you a drink? I'm not from an alien age. I'm Dalish. Oh, right. Of course, because of the, the things on your face. Things is yes. crazy. They're As markings. Said, the Inquisition soldiers needed a place to unwind. So Leliana brought me in to set up a tavern. Nothing fast. But it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. You said Leliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Dumb luck, maybe. I managed an inn back in Denerim. When I heard interesting gossip, I passed word to Liliana. Sometimes it's helpful. She asked hmm. if I wanted to own my own tavern, and I said yes. I didn't realize she meant this. Hmm. What can you tell me about this area? Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harris is the Inquisition Smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the Quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segrid. His prices aren't too high. Yes? Oh, there's also my name. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. As a reminder, elves in this world are discriminated against. Oh god. We ain't reading all that. I'll read the codexes. I'm not reading books. <laughs> I'm not reading books. I'm not reading books. I'm reading like character lore and like world lore and stuff. That's just a random ass book. But like elves in this world are discriminated against and have been for quite some time. I don't know why, but I kind of like it because usually elves are like really pompous and bitchy and they think they're superior because they live longer. And don't get me wrong, there's probably elves that think like that and they probably do live longer in this in this um, game as well. But like, Solas, why is he over here? Um, but yeah, so there's two different types depending on where you grew up. The alienages are like their camps, I guess in the main cities and they're forced to live there and usually they're like poverty stricken not me saying usually they are poverty stricken people turn to like um crime and that sort of thing and then the dalish elves are the ones still trying to cling to their culture but they are in the at least in ferelden they're in the uh Brazilian Force, so and they also like attack indiscriminately so if you are in their territory or whatever they just they just they say fuck off like they don't really care for outsiders which is interesting but yeah that's why like you'll probably 
most of the dialogue, if they're not an elf, they're gonna be like, they're either gonna hate me because they think elves are inferior, or they're gonna be like, oh my god, like, I'm so sorry for history, blah blah blah. I don't know. Stuff like that. The Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. Oh? I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. Unstoppable? No. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. Oh my gosh, he's so hot. I... <laughs> he is so hot. Um, that's valuable. I imagine you find some amazing things in there, alongside all the demons. Exactly. It is occasionally dangerous, yes. But more often it's just sad to see what has been lost. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate mage surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Cassandra has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. Oh! Not the heart. Yeah, no, we're not giving... N well... 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 Yeah, no. Your fears don't matter is crazy. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. She really will, though. I don't but know now let us hope her. either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in romancing Solace. Like, he's very- in I didn't think he would be this interesting. Everybody on Twitter talks about this guy. And he's like their baby girl or whatever. I didn't really get it. But now I'm like, okay. I get it a little bit. But it's the bald head for me. <laughs> I just can't get I can't get that out of my like I need no. Maybe if I was quirky, but I'm I'm not quirky enough. Oh, can I make stuff? Oh my gosh, finally. Oh, I did not read that. I should have read that. Okay. Can't make any of can't make it what was what was the point? What was the what was the point? Secret asked told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything less than eight. Fine. Huh? <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. We've met. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. It has been a rough few days. <laughs> That's an understatement. And more ahead if the weather is any indication. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Ooh. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Oh, purr. Wait, I'm not done talking You're back. Yet. And in one piece. 
How are your people holding up? We've got Mother Giselle lending a hand now, which helps. For the ones that need comforting more than actual healing, she's a rock in fast water. Something to cling to. Ooh, I like how you said that. Farewell. Okay, so basically nothing for me there. And nothing for me here either. Okay, well, at least I know what this place is. Are we going to have new birth for the Herald of Andrasa? That's the tavern. Alwyn, is there someone I'm missing? Greetings, Herald of Andraste. Am I missing someone? Liliana! <gasps> this mother was in the, are the peace first pieces. game. The champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous. The lights in the shadow. In their blood, the maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Fandraste, no? What does the maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? I'm as confused as you. <laughs> I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. People die. People are killed all the time. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? Oh? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Leliana falling back on her religion? That's wild. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Mother. Come to work then. We will speak later. What do you mean come? What? What do you mean? I can't even talk to you anymore. <laughs> Did I find everything? Oh, okay. There's still, like, more crafting people. I'm gonna do this and then go back to questing in the, uh... Questing in the, in the place I was in. I forgot what it was called. Uh, Red Cliff, I think. We'll need some of your cloth for bandages. Oh. Yeah, no. I don't even want to sell anything because... If I wait for uh, Josephine to do her thing, I get a discount, so... I forget which one I did, I'm not gonna lie. Oh well. Been a while since I built one of these. Pray to the maker that I'd never have to build another. Mm -hmm. paid you as much attention as he pays everyone else. Uh. Uh. Yeah, the Grey Wardens are dope as hell. As centuries have passed, Mages are now safely held in the circles where they harm none. When was this? Military conflict in a post blight Thetis? Written 929, shortly before the start of the fifth blight. Oh, that old ass piece of paper. What? Yo, I was like, what do you what do you mean it's been centuries? It's actually been pretty recent. 
That's because that paper's old as fuck. That's why. Oh, okay. I, I don't like the map. I hate that it doesn't like the lot. Master Harry said we weren't to sell Inquisition. Can I come out here? There we go. Oh, dope. If the Inquisition wants to field a decent cavalry, it needs better forces. I have a secret enterprise to my tribe. I wonder if Master Wade is in this game. Master Zenit in the hinterlands. Expected you'd be by. I'm Harriet, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. You know that's not warm. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work, something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. How did you come to be here? Come from a little town called Lothring. Long gone now. I know where that is. I was is. in Redcliffe when the Darkspawn hit it during the Blight. Helped rebuild. Left when Royalty decided it was time to hand the place over to the bloody mages. What? Ended up here. Just Mr. Boo. Can't decide if I'm the luckiest son of a bitch walking. The exact opposite. You're still walking. That's always good. True enough. Who outfits the Inquisition's soldiers? Not me. I've got work to do. Can't be passing a sword to every blighter who signs up. If you want to help the troops, talk to Thren, the Quartermaster. She'll set up requisitions. Does the Inquisition not have supplies to make armor or weapons? Tough convincing traders to haul up here. Impossible to get them to risk the rare stuff, so that's on you. Okay. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. We should have what you want just outside. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. You find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. Bring it here. Right. Okay. Modify armor, modify weapons. Upgrading an item as the upgrade stats of the item stats. Oh, God. What the hell is that? Jesus. Light armor of the dragon? Yo, that's kind of dope. I'm not even gonna lie. What? I wish I could turn- why can't I turn her around? It's so mean. No, she wouldn't be wearing any- she'd be wearing- That's- wait, can I- do I have that in my inventory? I do! Good thing this is better because I actually prefer- <laughs> What is this? Yo, this is dope as hell. She looks very cute. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Another time. Wait, I can right click? Oh, I guess I pressed R by accident. I don't know. Craft armor. I didn't actually want to craft it. I, I was joking. Okay. This is... Oh, I already have that. You need something, let me know. Why can't I go over here? Oh, okay. And I can crack weapons. Not the Bianca Arms one, Jesus. Okay, so actually, you need to... something, let me know. Okay, you told me that like seven times. Yeah, no shit. I already know all this stuff. Oh, cause. cause... Is it Cassandra or Cassandra? I have no fucking clue, bro. Okay. It says quest one of two. What? These are just quest. These are just quests I'm not even gonna be able to do. You were the sky when 
She even at? I don't know where she is. Okay, all right. You might as well just not let me climb if you're gonna make it that restrictive. leg on this for me. Oh, there she is. Ugh. I think you need practice dummies made of sturdier stuff. That would be nice. Like maybe iron. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. Ooh. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. What's going to happen now? Now, we deal with the Chantry's panic over you before they do even more harm. <laughs> then we close the breach. We are the only ones who can. <sighs> After that, we find out who is responsible for this chaos, and we end them. This and queen. if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. I only pray this the price is camera? not too high. Isn't it a bit late to worry about it now? We have only just begun. Oh? My train is always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done and I do it. Oh? I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. Oh? But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. Can't say I'm not grateful to hear that. <laughs> I can be harsh, I know. Yeah, you can. But you're low-key a queen, I'm not gonna lie to you. You've said you don't believe you're chosen. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? What no. I'm Dalish. I believe in our own gods. And there's no room among your gods for one more? No. I suppose it doesn't matter now. <laughs> I have to believe you were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. I yeah, like how I can't use that as an excuse. He's like, you're Dalish. <laughs> you, can't add, you can't add one more god to the list? No. I don't believe in the Maker, or at least this character doesn't. My girl does not. Oh. What's this? Hello? Did I pick- did I pick it up? <laughs> I don't even know if I picked it up or not. Okay. We're gonna head over here. 
Can I like go in between the- I cannot, damn. Why is there just a chest out here for me? Ugh. I'm doing so many like, meager things. You know what they really need? They need a uh, faster animation for this stuff because oh my god. Having to watch this animation every time I grab some iron and some elf fruit. Come on now. And how is she collecting ore with just her bare hands? With no pickaxe whatsoever. She's kind of queen for that. Take a closer look. Is there? There is not. I don't even know why I'm up here. Oh. Would they not be in here, or...? Oh shit! I found him. Alright, let's do that next. that's over here. No, I could edit out the video. Am I gonna do that? Fuck no. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. The exact reason why my Baldur's Skate 3 videos will probably be unfinished. Apologies to the one person that was watching them. I just didn't have it in me to keep editing. I got so tired. I wanted to play the game more than I wanted to edit the videos. That was a problem. And another problem is that... I would get distracted actually watching it rather than editing it, so just a just a mess all around. For these, I'm actually gonna like record as much as I can, but not play it until I have a video done. So as I'm playing this, I have the first one um, uploaded. So. I accidentally uploaded the wrong thing. Luckily nobody saw that, so... Where the fuck am I go- Why can't I go out this far? Like, what? Like, this is a mess. Okay, so we're gonna head down... What's this? Okay. Okay. Mm, that sucks. I can't like fast travel all the way back down there. I'm a lazy ass bitch. Like, you need the. Let me fast travel back to the camp! It's so far away and you can't actually run. Like, this the, this is the fast she goes. The, uh, this is the fast she goes. This is the fast she goes. And I know there's mounts in this game, but I really don't know how far you have to get into the game to actually get the mounts. They could honestly take forever. I hope it doesn't, but you never know.
Why does all this shit happen in Ferelden? Technically, we're in Olay, I think. Are we in Olay? No, we're in Ferelden. All this shit happens in Ferelden and never anywhere else. Or at least, I think so. The first one's in Ferelden. I'm not sure where the second one is. So I think that's kind of funny. Ferelden is just taking back shots literally every single time. <gasps> and Joste's old Mabari? Never mind. I saw the world I saw the word Mabari and got excited. Mabari is is what they call dogs. You dislike the Templar system. It's a, I don't know if it's a dog breed or if it's just like a mutt, but Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? I gotta go over here. Hey, I, I got, see good got your supplies. Can I help you with something? Oh, never mind. Farewell. Make a go with you. Okay, so I can make this now. Oh, I can make both of them. Period. That will help. You're welcome. And we gotta go to the apothecary because I have his uh I have his stuff. Where's he at? Here? In one piece. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here, but he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Farewell. Lyrium potion. How do I unlock this? Let me know if you need anything. I don't. But thank you. I'm definitely gonna need that. They wouldn't give you potions if you weren't supposed to rely on them, right? I really don't know how combat is supposed to work in this goddamn game. I really don't. Yeah, they want me to go to Valrio. I'm not going. At least we got Inquisition troops out of Rickland, giving those people some I wanna go to um I'm gonna go back to I think it was Redcliffe we were at. I wanna go back to Redcliffe and then finish everything there and then I'll go to Val.